Ever wondered what the oldest comic books in the world are? It's a question that takes us back centuries to the dawn of visual storytelling. Comics have been a part of human culture for longer than you might think, and today we're going to delve into that rich history. From the uproarious exploits of urban dandies in the American gold rush to the satirical narratives of British illustrators, these early works laid the foundation for the comic book industry we know and love today. We'll travel as far back as the 18th century to a time when Japan was pioneering the art form with the whimsical Master Flashgold's splendiferous dream. And of course, we can't forget the Swiss teacher who made comics to entertain his family and friends only to become a pivotal figure in the early development of comics. So buckle up, get ready to journey back in time as we explore the origins of comic books. Starting from the newest in our list, let's explore Journey to the Gold Diggings. This comic book, a product of the California Gold Rush period, was the first American-made comic. Brought to life by the talented Red Brothers James and Alexander, it tells the tale of a city slicker who dares to dream of striking it rich in the gold fields of California. Yet, our protagonist's journey is far from a fairy tale. Instead, it's a story of failure and loss, as he returns home with less money than he started with. This comic book, though steeped in humour, is a poignant commentary on the harsh realities of the gold rush. It's a testament to the power of comic storytelling, presenting a snapshot of a significant era in American history. A comic depiction of the gold rush era, it's fascinating how this comic captured the zeitgeist of its time. Next on our list is Life of Mr. Lamkin. This comic emerged from the creative depths of George Cruikshank, one of Britain's most lauded illustrators. His artistry graced the pages of classic novels, including the famous Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Cruikshank, a fan of the influential comic artist Rodolf Topfer, sought to merge illustrations with narratives. This led to the creation of The Bachelor's Own Book being 24 passages in the life of Mr. Lamkin, or simply put, Life of Mr. Lamkin. The comic told the story of the titular Mr. Lamkin, a bachelor navigating the ups and downs of life. Unfortunately, it didn't strike the right chord with readers at the time. Despite its lack of commercial success, it carved a niche in the world of comic illustration. Its existence served as a testament to the power of narrative art, forever etching Cruikshank's name in the annals of comic history. Now, let's travel to Switzerland with History de Monsieur Jabot. In the year of 1833, a Swiss teacher named Rodolphe Topfer was inspired to create a comic book series for his own amusement. Titled Histoire de Monsieur Jabot, or Story of Mr. Jabot, it was the first of seven satires Topfer would create. The comic spun the tale of an ambitious middle-class man striving to climb the social ladder to the upper class. Initially, these comics were simply a source of entertainment for Topfer's family and friends. However, their laughter and joy soon convinced him to publish his work. Topfer's comics quickly gained popularity and played a significant role in the early development of the comic book industry. His later work, Histoire de Monsieur Vieux-Bois, even became the first comic book to be published in the United States in 1842. Topfer's influence can be seen today, proving that a comic that started as a hobby and went on to influence the world. Truly a remarkable journey. Moving on to the Glasgow Looking Glass. This pioneering publication from the early 19th century was unique in its focus on comic artistry and satire. Illustrated by the English cartoonist William Heath, it first hit the stands in 1825. Its pages teeming with commentary on the politics and daily life of Scotland in the 1820s. But the Glasgow Looking Glass was far more than a mere comedic commentary on society. It was a trailblazer in the realm of comic storytelling, introducing a narrative device that would come to define the genre. This was the magazine that first ended a comic strip with a cliffhanger, the tantalizing To Be Continued, that keeps readers on the edge of their seats, eagerly anticipating the next issue. This clever narrative technique, still widely used in today's comic books and graphic novels, was birthed within the pages of the Glasgow Looking Glass. Glasgow Looking Glass, a comic that revolutionized storytelling with its cliffhanger ending. Finally, let's delve into the world's oldest comic book, Master Flashgold's Splendiferous Dream. Originating from the heart of Japan in 1775, this visual narrative was the brainchild of the creative genius Koikawa Harumachi. 
Harumachi wove a tale about a low-ranked samurai living a life of hardship in the Japanese countryside. Hoping for a better life, our protagonist embarks on a journey to Tokyo, the city of dreams. On his way, he decides to take a nap under the cherry blossom trees. As he drifts off, he dreams of geishas, courtesans, and a life dripping with luxury. He dreams of a life far from his own, a life where he is no longer bound by his social status. It is in this dream that we see the splendiferous world that Harumachi crafts, filled with vivid characters and vibrant landscapes. A world that, despite its fantastical elements, reveals the harsh realities of the social and political climate of the era. This narrative, however, is not just a simple tale. It was the first of many kibyoshi, a genre of comics that subtly ridiculed the government and societal norms of the time. Harumachi's satirical approach was not only a bold move, but also an ingenious one. It was a way to express dissent without directly provoking the authorities, a testament to the power of art as a tool for social commentary. The popularity of Master Flashgold's splendiferous dream was unprecedented. Its characters found their way into advertisements and merchandise, mirroring the comic book culture we're familiar with today. This comic book didn't just entertain, it resonated with the masses, reflecting their hopes, their dreams and their struggles. Master Flashgold's splendiferous dream was more than just a comic book, it was a cultural phenomenon. It laid the foundation for the comic book industry, setting the stage for its evolution into the diverse and dynamic medium it is today. A comic that satirized the government and society, it paved the way for the comic book industry we know today. That concludes our journey through the oldest comic books in the world. We've traveled from the gold rush of California to the bustling streets of Tokyo, exploring the tales that laid the groundwork for the comics we know and love today. These early creations filled with wit, satire and social commentary truly highlight the timeless power of storytelling. Remember, every comic book you read today has a rich history that dates back centuries. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of comics.